that exclusive with Paige Winter, mm. that 17 year old North Carolina girl Robin's been telling us about this morning. She was attacked by that shark. Finally tonight here, America Strong, the teenager who survived a shark attack. The weekend attack left Paige Winter seriously hurt. In this video, we tell you the story of a young girl named Paige Winter, who had to experience real horror after coming face to face with a shark. The girl was born on April 22, 2002 in Carolina, USA. The Tar Heel State, commonly referred to as North Carolina, borders the Atlantic Ocean to the east. It therefore serves as a breeding ground for many aquatic species. More than a dozen different shark species can be found in the state's coastal waters, including the Great White Shark. On June 2, 2019, 17-year-old Paige Winter was swimming waist-deep in water off the coast of North Carolina. She was relaxing with her sister and brother, enjoying a warm Sunday afternoon at Atlantic Beach. Her father, Charlie Winter, had long dreamed of a family vacation. No one could have imagined the hardships they would face that day. It had been drizzling rain over the city before the trip, so the water was a little muddy. The girl was going to get out of the water several times because of the cold, but in the end, she decided to stay. Once in the water with her sister, Anais Winter, and best friend Kale, she noticed her father trying to sneak up on them. Her father suggested that Winter play mermaid, whereupon the girl stepped into the water and stepped on something. At first she thought it was one of her siblings grabbing her leg as a joke, but then she experienced a strange sensation. The 17-year-old girl felt the shark's jaws tightly around her leg. The animal began to pull her under the water. She tried to fight the shark off by squeezing its jaws with her hands, but it didn't help. The aquatic predator had no intention of letting go of its victim. At that moment, Many thoughts raced through 17-year-old Winter's mind. She didn't want to die so soon. Fortunately, her father witnessed the attack and saw his daughter disappear underwater in a bloody vortex. Charlie used to work as a fireman, so he was physically tough. He quickly ran to the rescue and punched the shark in the face five times. During the father's attempts to pull the girl toward him, the shark broke free along with her leg, which was still clamped by its sharp teeth. The man had to work hard to pull his daughter to shore. As a result of the attack, Paige's legs were severely damaged, her pelvis and arms were also in bad shape, and the girl nearly lost her life. But she kept talking and asking her father for help. When Paige was very young, her father promised her that he would always take care of his little girl. Charlie wanted his daughter to be proud of him. A passerby put a tourniquet on her left hip. 911 dispatchers received numerous calls about the shark attack, and witnesses said there was little left of Winter's leg. Almost no one believed the girl would survive. While she was being taken to the hospital, Paige never lost consciousness, begging her father not to be angry at the shark. After making sure the tourniquet was properly applied, the medical staff began blood and plasma transfusions. On arrival at Vidant Medical Center, she was in hemorrhagic shock, but she was brave, observant, and communicative. The trauma physicians examined the injuries and began a large blood transfusion protocol. The 17-year-old's injuries stunned many experienced doctors. She underwent surgery, which resulted in Paige losing her left leg and two fingers on her hand. She got out of surgery safely and immediately asked Charlie the most important question of all about her Snapchat. She did this to let her family know that she was feeling fine. At the same time, plastic surgeons began working on her arms. In the days that followed, Paige underwent several more surgeries on her hands, but she felt good and was in high spirits. Her light blue hair, which she had recently dyed, the t-shirts she wore, and her constant, slightly understated smile lifted her spirits just by looking at her. No one knew how she managed to keep such a strong and cheerful attitude. The road to rehabilitation was a long one for Paige. Her family and her father, who saved her life in the first few minutes after her injury by instinctively placing his hand on her thigh as she bled out, were instrumental in her recovery and helping her overcome the psychological effects of the incident. She never liked watching TV shows about sharks because she found them overly violent, but she wants people to know that she has no animosity toward predators. Winter claims she has always loved nature and all living things, especially her cat Sushi. After months of treatment, plastic surgery, and physical rehabilitation, Paige Winter returned to her home. She began her last year of high school a month after she received a prosthetic leg. When Paige returned to school, everyone was friendly to her. Many freshmen and sophomores thought the girl received special treatment because of her disability, but Winter tried to ignore her critics. After graduation, Paige began to consider what she should do next. 
preparing for the next phase of her life. Oddly enough, she is thinking about moving to study marine biology. Paige frequently posts pictures of her boyfriend, Cameron, on social media, so her personal life seems to be going well. Having escaped a potentially fatal shark attack, she feels lucky and sees the experience not as a tragedy, but as the greatest lesson of all, don't give up and keep going. Later, Winter became a shark advocate working with National Geographic to produce television programs about sharks and supporting actor Robert Downey Jr. in his environmental advocacy group, Footprint Coalition. The real heroes of this story are a devoted mother and father, a volunteer at the beach, and an amazing little girl. The tourniquet, a major component of any trauma system, saved Paige's life. Such shark attacks on humans are very rare. Last year, there were 66 such attacks, four of which ended in death. Even more unusual is Paige's attitude, devoid of screams, tears, or self-pity. What do you think of this story? I'd be happy to read your opinions in the comments.